going to show you three of the easiest way to take a screenshot on your iPad Air fifth generation okay so the first way is a, using a two key combination okay it's going to be the power button and the volume down you press both buttons at the same time takes a screenshot also power button and volume up as well that'll work too tap them both at the same time boom okay now every time you take a screenshot it's going to get saved automatically into your photos gallery so if I tap on that right there, and then if you tap up here, the top left hand side, it says, all, it says photos. If you tap there, now if you tap on library here, and you tap on all photos, it's going to show all your photos, uh, as well as your videos that you've taken, but also all of your screenshots. If you just want to look at only your screenshots, if we tap back here on photos, you also have another folder here called screenshots. If you tap on that, all your screenshots are on there as well. Now let me show you another way to take a screenshot without using any of the uh, buttons or keys, okay? So if we go to settings here, and then from here we go to accessibility, which is right here, tap on that, and on the right pane here we want to go to touch, tap on touch, and then this is what we're going to use, it's called the assist of touch, okay? So let me tap on that right there, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. As soon as I turn that on, this little floaty thing here appears. You can see right down here, as soon as I turn it on, you get this little floaty thing right here, okay? So right now, this little floaty thing, if I tap it once, it's gonna open menu. I double tap, it's gonna, nothing's gonna happen, okay? So let's just do this. Let me do double tap here. It says none, let's tap on that, and let's go ahead and use that for screenshot. Okay, now let me go back. Now you can see, if I double tap this, Going to take a screenshot okay i can also make it a single tap or long press also this little floaty thing it stays in your foreground doesn't matter where you go it's going to stay on the foreground double tap for a screenshot again there you go pretty simple